Hello and welcome to Bread of Life, a daily devotional program which each week features a different area pastor. Our speaker for this week is Pastor Jim Wagner of Ensonia. I'm back with Abundant Life. We've talked about uh, a lot of different things last. Yesterday we talked about dressing for success, dressing for a winner, you know, putting on the full armor of God so that you can really experience this abundant life. Today we want to just talk about you must be willing to learn new habits. If you're going to create a new life, you got to learn what that new life's all about. And, and part of that is developing good Christian, strong Christian habits that you need to be involved with. In Acts chapter 2, right after Pentecost and after the church was formed, and, and the people were baptized. It says in verse 42, it says, They continued, devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching, to fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayer. The, this, this kind of devotion brought about a amazing lifestyle that everybody in the, around the community wanted to, and the church just grew like crazy because they wanted what they had. What did they have? They had abundant life. They were living the abundant life, and they were living it because they were developing habits that would give them a stronger, more personal relationship with the living God. It says they... they they continue to devote themselves. Uh, that's a habit, okay? That's a habit, a strong habit to the apostles' teachings. That would be our, our New Testament especially, but our whole Bible too, okay? It says that we use the Bible then as a standard by which we understand how to live this life, okay? If you're not memorizing, if you're not reading, if you're not studying, if you're not going to church and hearing the sermon, going to Bible study, if you're not taking in the very word that tells you how to live or participate in life with God, because that's what Jesus came. He came to set us free that we may have a life with God. And then he said, here's how you participate with life with God. And so you need to have that kind of understanding. So the Bible gives that to you. You need to have that that habit very strong in your life. Also, he says that you need to have the habit of fellowship, okay? And this is important for us to have this concept of fellowship. Fellowship is more than just a knife and fork, having meals together. It's really learning to live together and live together with God in this abundant life that he's given us, okay? You know how they how they take rocks and make them nice and shiny and flat and smooth, or they put them all in a chamber and they put some oil in there, and then they just turn on the chamber and they just let them beat each other until they're all nice and smooth. They come out all different shapes, but they're all pretty and smooth and nice. That's kind of what fellowship is. We just kind of knock each other around and we're, we're accountable to each other and we love each other and we caress each other and we forgive each other and, until we come out nice and smooth and usable for God. And the more fellowship helps us become more usable for God. We also need to remember communion. Every, every week we need to remember that Jesus died for us and saved us and brought us into this abundant life. We need to have that concept in our lives. Communion is much more than we can realize. That Paul says that some fall asleep because they're not taking it right. We need to understand that we need to take, this is a holy time to remember. God was a great God of remembering. Look, go read the Old Testament, all the monuments he set up to remember what he, so the people remember what they did, what he did for them, I mean. You know, he set up monuments over and over again for the people to remember what God had done for them. This is another time, and this is a holy time, but this is about the grace of God and the power of Christ and and to give us his abundant life. So we need to remember that in communion, in the Lord's day with the Lord's people and the Lord's supper. It's something that needs to be a habit for our lives. And then we need to have the habit of prayer. We need to communicate with God regularly. We need to communicate with him, not just when we're in the pit and say, help God, but in the morning, in the afternoon. And is it, Paul says, continuously prayer. You know, we need to have that. These things will give us abundant life. Read the rest of this passage, starting verse 23 for your own, and you're going to see that abundant life there. You've been listening to Pastor Jim Wagner of Ansonia, and this has been Bread of Life, a program to encourage you from God's Word.